Hi folks, Exeter Rider. This week I'm on the SM Maxi and I'm going to go up there, which is a place which I was going to come down on the Sinus terrain, but because of the combined brake and I couldn't do it. But now I've got the uh, Sinus SM Maxi, I can pretty much go anywhere. So let's see what it's like. Um, so I'm just going to walk up and see what it's like first. Now you're not going to be able to appreciate what I'm dealing with here. It's not particularly gnarly, so to speak but it is still a bit rocky, lots of big stangs, and then it does start to get very steep. And then we're straight onto the mud stuff there. It looks like the water's been washing down the hill. I know what's at the top, but I don't really know what I'm gonna get into as I'm going up the hill. So you're not gonna see what I'm seeing now. It is quite muddy and uh, the bike's gonna get in a right mess, no doubt. But I'm up for the challenge. Let's give it a go. Whilst I've got the bike, I want to make the most of it. So looking forward to it. Catch you in a second. Right then, Sinus XE, are you ready for it? Right then, here we go. Ooh, let's hide up this bike. Off we go on a little adventure. Oof. Let's have to try and follow the line, I guess. Oh, a bit of horse poop. Go on, up you go. As <laughs> such, a bit of a trough there. Oh, nearly losing it there. Don't get, oh, I don't want to go down there. Oh, this is great. There's no way I could have gone down this on the Sinus, purely because of the combined braking. Hello. Come to a junction in the road. Oh. have some fun on that field, couldn't I? I guess even... Come on, go, 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 go. I need to chop to the other side. This is the sort of thing you should really have. Go with somebody else. Up you go. There's a big trough down on the right hand side there that you can't see. Oops. Over the rocks. Come on. No way I could have done that without knobbly tyres. And this is where I arrived. Woo! With the Sinus. Terrain. Not sure if I put that up yet, but... <laughs> Although that was rough, it was quite short. Even if it is just a 125, I think you can sometimes have more fun on a 125 than you can a 1200. Over there you can see the estuary. Not sure if you can see that from here, from where you're sat. Very nice up here. I enjoyed that. And this is what I'm really going to miss about having this bike. Doing things like that, you learn so much about road riding, off-roading, you know, so much can be learnt when you're, when you have a bike like this and you go on a track like that. But you need to have the right bike for it. For me, this bike is perfect. Little 125, nice and light. If you lose it, you pick it up again and off you go again. I guess the only thing if you want to be really picky about it is there's a lot of exposed pipe work there. Got the uh, water pump there. Um, so if you do go down that could get hit and on the other side you've got the radiator which actually has a plastic cover on it no it's not, it's metal yeah, metal cover what a great bike it's brilliant uh, you know, what can I say it's, it's brilliant yes the dealership network is a little bit 
a little bit scarcer than what I'd like. But as a bike, the SMXE is fantastic. Gateway with a view. It's not really a view, is it? Let's move on. All right. I wonder when I'm going to be putting this out. Oh, might be early next year. In which case, you'll be sat there in the freezing cold watching my vid. Of me, uh, when it's this now, it's October now. Quite a warm day, but due for a lot of rain. We've had a lot of rain already. One thing I need to get used to is to look ahead a bit more. Again, this probably looks nothing to you, but it's still a little bit... Oops, a big guy would share. Oh, get out of it. There we go. Didn't take long, did it? Right, now that goes towards Holden. That's where I come from with the Sinus terrain, where I wasn't wearing my gloves because I was actually taking shots of the bike where I am now. This is where it got quite muddy down here. Love it man, you'd never ever come up here would you? On a normal bike. Plug me mic in, yeah. Yeah, when I come down here on the Sinus it was really overgrown and quite muddy actually. But today it's not too bad. Yeah, I mean, this is nothing exciting. It's just, uh, like I say, I've always wanted to go up that lane and I thought I never got the bike to do it. And when I found out I was getting this bike, I was, uh, I was pretty pleased, to say the least. God, it stinks around here. Lucky it's not smell-o-vision. There's other places I would have liked to have taken this bike, but... God, look at that. It's amazing how those tractors with all that weight get through that stuff, isn't it? Looks like I'm going to have to wash the bike again. It's going back tomorrow, so I need to have it in good condition. Oh, this is much less gnarly than what it was on the, in the middle of the summer on the Sinister terrain. Anyway, I've done that lane. That's all I care about. It's brilliant though, you know, oh, fucking slidey. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd love to have an off-roader, but how many times can you do the same lanes? That's my, the thing that's holding me back, really. I don't want to keep going round and round on the same old stuff. We've got saddlebags, he and uh, Dave, Mr. Dave, who know their way around. But they're obviously sort of an hour away from me. Um, so getting to them is often quite difficult. I suppose I could do a ride-by shot here, couldn't I? Yeah, I'm going to leave it there, folks. I'm going to do a couple ride-by shots before I take the bike back. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Like I say, it's only a, a quick video. It's... Um, just whilst I had the bike, I've, I've wanted to do that lane for a long time now, so let's go back and do a couple of ride bys for the main review. But thanks for watching, and I will see you next week. Have a good week, whatever you're up to. Cheers. Ha ha ha!